Alright, hello and welcome back to Diablo 3 Necromancer. Um, I played one of my other characters for a little bit in order to get some some crafting materials. Hmm. I should have more than that. Uh, that's not right. Why do I have so few crystals? That's not right. I should have more crystals and gold. Eh, whatever. I got a few more levels here, so... Hmm. It's weird. Ah, let's boost my resistance. Uh, attack speed. Int. Resource reduction. Alright. I just gotta confirm. I'm going to what going to the character I was playing last night just to make sure. Cause I swear this I had more because I don't like the Crusader as much because it's very tanky. Uh, so it's harder to grind materials, but it also wasn't a level seventy, so I played it for a while. Last night before recording today. I swear, I have more materials, or did I spend them on other stupid shit? Huh. Could have sworn I had more stuff. That's weird. That's very weird. I should probably put these away. Eh. Uh, could have sworn I had more than that. I swear, I almost had a hundred. Huh. That's weird. So very weird. Ah well. But yeah, I don't like playing Crusader as much as my wizard. It just can't kill large numbers of things quickly. It's very tanky. So it does things slowly. Oh well, I guess I'll have to grind more materials at some other point then. Alright, uh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh uh, no! My portal's gone. Oh uh, well, guess I'll have to run to the field. I'll try and run straight to it this time. So it's been a while since I actually played. Hopefully I can remember how the fuck my necromancer works. Just grind away at that beast. Oh, wait, I heard it. Where is it? Oh, I can't, I have no idea where it was. I wonder where the fuck that douchebag was. Oh, there he is. Alright, that's the highest priority. Get him. Get the bastard! No, come back you prick! Don't make me send all my shit after you. Gotcha, I think. Wait, but didn't I send one ghost after each of them? Alright, you guys deal with that, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Team dealt with. Oh, that's right. I went for the archers, didn't I? All right. I love using that ability for cleanup. Just clean up all the shit I made. All right. So I have some of these to put at the lower end of my stuff. Uh, toughness, which is vitality. Plus 10, that's 30. Alright, I'll hold on to that for the moment and then I'll probably put one of my better gems in it. So 
So, unless I mentioned it already and just forgot, um, I'm going to play this for one hour and that's going to be how long this episode is. I'm going to do a nice hour long episode today. That's what I'm going to do. Because I what? Oh, wait a minute. Was that? No, it's just a normal. I thought it was a good one to go and kill. I like just consuming corpses. Kinda wish the armory would let me have like change my talents so I don't have to go oh not my talents but my um my skills, that's the word I'm looking for. I wish it had let me change the skills so that way I could have different completely different attack um styles of gameplay that I can switch out without having to do everyone individually, because that sucks. Alright, so I think it's up this way. So what's this at at the moment? Alright, that's right, he's being used as a battery, ain't he? I'm using him as a battery for when my shit runs low. So I can just constantly create an army. But I don't really have to very often. Oh, there we go. Here's some enemies to fight. Oh, what do you mean no? Yeah, his corpse lets me get more. Helps redo the cooldown. Ooh, a legendary! Two-handed scythe. Alright, let's see how useful you are. Oh, shit tons of damage. Every point of max essence increased by your damage. What? Every point of maximum essence increases your damage by bone spikes generated. Additional two essence for each enemy hit. Well, I don't use bone spikes. I mean, that's a good amount of damage. Hmm. But I really would rather keep that toughness. At least at the moment. Because that's a lot of toughness being lost. And I don't really need that big of a damage buff at the moment anyway, so... I'll keep... I'll just disenchant it or sell it. Alright, let's bring out some high damage. Also, I'm probably going to start playing StarCraft uh, co-op missions a lot more now. Um, I'm probably going to start recording those again because of the battle chest thing, battle box, war chest thing that they're doing. I don't remember what it's called. But because of that and the skins that you can get, I'm going to start playing it a lot more often again. So, yeah. I'll be doing that. Not really sure when I'll be recording it, but I will stop. I'll be playing it today for myself at least. Alright, get this guy. I'll send that over there to try and get it. Alright, is it all dead? Good. Man, that cuts away my recovery. Uh, that's just that. Int and vitality are better. I just lose the life per hit. Done. Yeah. Where's he going? He could have at least retargeted. 
That death ability is definitely best used against enemies with um, high HP. Most definitely, I think. Otherwise, they'll just die too quickly and then the spell will fail. But I'd like to try other styles of battle, it's just... Well, I'd like it if I could also friggin' switch between them more freely. I am returning to I, town. I, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? I, I need to... let's disenchant... I'll deconstruct. Get that gem back. Where's the box? There it is. Put that in there. Right, yeah, I already had that. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, no! Fuck! I disenchanted the chest I got! Fuck! Me! Sideways. Alright, life, XP, cooldown. Resource cost. Alright, well, let's do resource cost. Ah, oh, fuck me, I can't believe I did that. That's why you equip it and not store it. Fuck. Equip the shit you want to use, even if you gotta put gems in it. Because shit like that's gonna fucking happen. And it's so fucking stupid that I keep doing that. Oh, how many times have I done that? Both recording wise and not recording. Fuck me. It's so stupid. It's such a little thing too. You'd think I'd learn. But I don't... I'm starting to think it's not in this sector. Maybe it's more east. But I really am starting to think I'm not in the right area. Forsaken grounds. Oh, there's a dude over here with a quest. I am undone. Demon spawn have taken root in my fields. Then you must go. This land is all my family has. I cannot leave. Then we'll kill the demon spawn. Ooh, it's a carrion farm now. That's actually kind of cool. Get rid of the carriers first. What? Did I not send one of my... Fucking hell. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Attack so uh, speed increased. Send it out! Oop, there's a high level one there. Get it, my archers! Ah, oh, it's a foe. I'm sad. Oh, it's over there. I'm glad that fate has brought My land is safe. Bless you. Tristram's families will not starve thanks to the work we have done today. Oh, there we go. I think I was waiting for that. Singularity. Uh, consume all essence to summon a powerful minion. The minion's damage increase with every point spent. And we got Shatter. Oops. Accept. Devour. Corpse explosion. Corpse quarters. Armor. Enemies hit a stun. Ah. <sighs> Let's see, show you one and reappear after us. Oh, it's just a teleport that duplicates your secondary skills for 15 seconds. But I'm only using Skeletal Mage. So, alright, let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's just a big one. How long does he, does he only last 6 seconds though? Seems so. Uh, increase the text speed bone spikes, blood siphon. Duration of Skeletal Harvest and Revived Minions by 25%. Poison Abilities, Increase Max Essence. That'll actually increase his damage while using a Scythe. Essence and Life per kill. Receive a 1% bonus for each enemy afflicted by one of your curses. Right, so when do I get the next one of those? Level 30. Oh, in one level. 
Alright, so I'll probably have overwhelming essence. My essence is too low. Oh, I need to regain essence. Yeah, boom. Yeah, he's just gonna slaughter people, this guy now. I mean, I should be able to get essence back easy enough. Especially when I have this, I can just use the corpses to regain even more essence. Not to mention my essence doesn't even have to be full. Wait, is there a blue item over here? No, it's just a blue hole in the ground. My mistake. But yeah, it doesn't have to be full for me to resummon him. Well, actually, it has, no, it doesn't have to be full, but it has to have some in it. Which is... Wait, where'd he go? What are you doing, bro? Trousers. No, well, that works. Let's see. I'll put the sockets in it when I get back, go back to town. <laughs> I'm not making that mistake again. Even, especially since it already gives me a good amount of bonuses anyway. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. But I'll just get some back anyway. Actually... Well, you know, I probably should do that one. Instead of additional essence. Oh, this guy didn't even know he was a high level. Who are you to take what is mine? It belongs to another. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. Then you have made an enemy. Very well. Let the games begin. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. I don't even see an enemy to fight. the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. Uh all right, we'll take it back and I'll get some new max life increase. Sated. What was that? Oh, it's my devour. This one. Nope, that's the wrong one. Devour. There we go. Uh, additionally consumes your minions. No, I don't want that. Becomes an aura that stores 11 per corpse. Well, that's increased by 2 for each corpse consumed for 5 seconds. Oh, that one's good. Ah. Alright, well, I'll talk to you. I recovered a piece of the sword. Gems. But members of a coven are pursuing it as well. Helm and weapon. Sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven. But I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Right, I need to replace my... I need to get another purple and orange. So let's go down to the gem dude. He's already over here. So yeah, look at the differences there now. That's pretty cool. Because I have these high level gems, because why not? Uh, can I even make them? Right, I need another bit. And topaz. Just to replace the ones in my chest. Because why not? Has he got anything else to say? I would hear of your sins if we are to continue fighting together. I cannot tell you. There can be no secrets in this alliance, Cormac. You misunderstand me. We are literally unable to recall our pasts. The Inquisitors stripped my sins and the memory of them from me. Leaving me pure. Uh, let's talk first. A most unusual sword fragment, isn't it? Indeed, it feels familiar to me, though the rest is still unclear. It looks like a weapon of a great warrior. If that is what I am, then my strength has. Whoops! 
I wanted to have a better look at my character, but I forgot hitting escape cancels words. The Triune that worshipped the Prime Evils as gods. The Prime Evils are gone. Who do they serve now? The lesser evils. The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, remain. And if either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. And they now we talk to Leah. The next piece is. Their leader said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. Oh, box still not good. Book, not buck. What do you mean? He's right there. I've decided to write an epic poem on the This is my room. Do you like what? it? What? You're not really thinking of reading my journal, are you? Yep. The Deckard believes the key to unlocking the stranger's memory is reassembling his sword. I wish I could say this was another of Uncle's crazy theories, but I can't deny that these ominous events are starting to really scare me. Whoops. Uh... Uh, moving on. Wait, did I put them? Yes, I put those away. Good. Ah, no. This will probably be quicker. And then we can just take the road. Alright, we're almost up a level two. And only when I was in grave danger. Something rises up from deep within me and, well, I can't really explain it. I can, but spoilers abound. Too bad. You'll have to wait till Act 3? 3, I believe. You there! Oh. Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Okay. These are going to kill my friend if we don't do something. Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! Who is this friend of yours? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. Well, open the gate. Where is the relic? I'll never tell you. Enough of this. Really? You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you. And the fact that I have an army that outnumbers them should have given them a bit of warning. But they're fools, whatever. You won't get away from us this time. What do you mean this time? You're the one who's getting slaughtered already. This isn't over. The rest of the thieves guild will find you. Hey, where did all my money go? Oh, I might have spent it on gems. Yeah, gems cost a lot. Oh, hey, we're up to 51. Let's see. Oh, it's a belt. Why am I losing damage? Is it thorns? Oh, it'll be that attack speed, I bet. Uh, is it worth it? Legendary for a legendary. Thank you both. Uh, health per second goes up. Friend here. On gold picker gain armor equal to uh, the amount picked up. Yeah, all right. Considering my probe is picking up a lot of gold. Relic, my love. I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us, but that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brats, uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. What? You mean to accompany me? Yes, yes! You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! 
I'd rather have int. Hmm. Relic is a fake. Gods, I should have known. You seem like you could use nah. a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. Please tell me that you're not considering this criminal's proposal. Why not? No, oh, how long is he going to stick around? Oh, there you are. And you're betrothed. Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way, my name is Lyndon. Uh -huh. Yeah. I knew you'd need my help. Stick with him until I get the enchantress. Uh, deal damage and slow range attack deal. Sure. will do very well. There she is. Always liked that one. Close on the impact. It's arcane. Like that. Crit. A great Crit. choice. All right, moving on. The tomb say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Okay. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. Off to you. Then away I go. Can't even talk to him yet. Alright. I don't care for these woods. Must we slog through them? Yep. Cause I say we do. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, damn it, though. If I want that scythe thingy, I'm all using a scythe. It doesn't have int either, but it does have good damage boost. Mm. Oh, agonizing choices. Well, I should be able to throw a int gem in there anyway, so fine. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna put this back to skeletal archers. As you saw, I can summon many of them. Without having to worry about. These flying creatures death of wings. So I can just have constantly summon them when I want to, as opposed to having to wait till it's full and shit. At least then I know I can spend essence on other stuff. Nah, not worth it. It's only one percent. Let's continue exploring the outer rim. Then we explore the center. You know, I'd like the poison nova, death nova, if I could target it, as opposed to just being, you know, away from me. Spines radiate outwards, dealing. You know, if I could say the nova erupts over here, as opposed to around me, I'd be much more happy using that ability. Too bad I can't. Although it does seem you can go for a ranged build or a melee build, which is actually pretty cool. Because you've got the scythe as a melee, you've got 
the Nova as a melee. It definitely seems like you can go for a melee style, solo, or a very minion style, which is what I've done, gone very army heavy. I do like that. Shit, I don't really know where that would have gone. I like the blood drain though. Although it, it is getting harder and harder to figure out what, what are mine and what are theirs. I don't like how long of a fucking cooldown that is. That's also a super long cooldown. Fuck. Revive, Corpse Lance, Bleach, VLT, not Frailty. Can I just do this? It kills and it what? It's an insta kill. Yeah, you can very go you can go for very a lot of various builds with this too, which is pretty cool. Like you can go with I'd probably go with Corpse Lance. If I was going for a melee build, I'd go with Corp Lance Corpse Lance Deva no, probably just Corpse Lance. Uh, I'd probably go go probably stick with the Golem. Actually, I'd probably have two of these. I'd probably have Leech and Fealty. So that's, hold on, that's one, two, three, and then I'd probably go with Bone Armor. Or Bone Spirit. Bone Spirit is pretty good regardless because it does that big single hit damage. Uh, dealing is physical and creates an armor that reduces damage taken by 3% by enemies hit. So, 30% if you hit 10. So it wouldn't be that good against a boss. So yeah, I'd probably swap the first three. That'd be... I think that'd work. Because like, then you can go a very melee heavy style. I might go with that at some point. You know, change it up. Might change it up eventually, but not sure when. I didn't want to do that. Why'd I do that? They said something, but I completely missed it. See, so yeah, I'd also go with the Grim Scythe and Death Nova. So there's also that. So I might go with that style at some point. Not sure when. It'll take a while to get to. Wait, something here is an ex extremely powerful enemy, but I can't see it. Oh wait, it's a skeleton here. You see, because I can just do that as opposed to what the skeletons, as opposed to one big skeleton. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I'm sad. I mean, loot, I mean. So that fucking... Red dude only gave me a fucking magical item. What a goddamn ripoff. Uh, I don't know what that one's. Alright, aside from the poison damage. All the more reason I can have that when you're done. Right. Nope. You know what? Let's, let's swap it out now. For the rest of this episode, let's go with it. Uh, uh, slash with two summon signs in front of you dealing as physical and pushing enemies away. Sure. I was suggested to be the captain. I don't really want to push him away. So, uh, no. 
Uh, each cast increases the radius of your next Nova. Now he has 1% of health per target hit and reduces damage dealt by. Sure. And devour for corpse. Each one slows the target and reduces its damage. Enemies hit. Enemies become brutal and increase the chance to be crit. Come sh shatter. And then you for leech. Close those enemies. Remember the die will be. Cool. While well, curse will spread the curse to nearby affected. VLT. Scent of blood. Curse enemies take damage from your minions. Explode for 100% weapon damage on death. There we go. Oh, I can probably switch this to standalone. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Actually. Uh, consuming a corpse, movement speed. Here we go. Nah, that's fine. Right. Moving on. Oh. -ho. Okay, that one's pretty interesting. That is not possible. All right, I forgot about Bone Corpse. The kind of forgot about that one. We were so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers. But the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. Our greed was our downfall. Her. See, yes, that was quite interesting. Then there's revive. Uh. Damaging for each enemy that I'm going to pass this through while seeking. Oh, that's cool. And then we got that, but it requires a scythe, which I don't have anymore. I have a hammer. I'm afraid not. Damn it. I gotta remember that the corpses are now an attack. Eh, yeah, just curse them all. I'm afraid not. Curses are quite interesting, though. I really wish I could do that at a greater distance, though. I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. This brings back memories. There are so many places exploring together. That's not exploration. It's a rescue mission. It's also I gotta try and remember which one does which. That is not possible. Which curse does which, I mean. I must have a call. Completely worth it. Mostly. I'm not gonna get as many corpses anymore, am I? Alright. Let's just keep exploring the outer edges of stuff. The melee! That is not possible. 
This style's alright, but I think I prefer my having an army style more. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Alright. No, no, these are useful. Alright, I think I'll go back. I liked... I like this better. Yeah, sure. Archers... Devour... Sated... Skeletons... Frenzy... Where is it? Golem. Corpses. Yes, it's not like it was. Stand alone to extended servitude. Yeah, I much prefer this style. I feel like I just do more damage like this. Just feels like more damage is being done in comparison. Oh, I got. You know what? I don't really need the battery so much, so what I might do is actually put this to fealty. Frailty. Less than 15%, fault of death, cursed enemies take 15% more damage from your minions. Just because of that. That certainly seems like something more to go with. Larry says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon army? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Although now I don't have like a mass damaging. Actually, I didn't really to begin with, did I? That is not possible. Well, maybe I should go with that explosion. I don't have something that deals a ton of damage to all enemies. Oh, he died! Didn't even notice. Alright, another gem. Alright, well, let's get this. Nope. Fool. Alright, and we're out of here. Let's continue to explore the area. Because there's something over here. There are many. We are cut off. They'll be upon us at any moment. Stand firm, brothers, and they will sing of our valor through the ages. The enemy is here for glory. Skewer the nephew. Well, wow, that sounds like there's a lot of them. Whoever they were were attacking. Give it more time. I actually kind of like this curse of frailty. Come, my skeletal mages. I heard stories of this stretch of woods, of a doomed battle fought long ago. I studied these battles in Kane's books, but seeing them is much worse. Okay. What well, seems like four dudes against a ton of enemies. But who knows what the real fight was like. 
Who knows what the real one was like? Dark Mending, heal you, no thanks. Frailty, leech. Nose, itchy. Alright, I'm gonna go back to I town, to I got some back. things to do. And disenchant. I need an int gem to put in there. What was it, vitality? Nope. Int. Int. There. Uh, put those away, and then I need to enchant, do some enchanting over here. Uh, what did I just pick up? Braces. Alright, let's swap our coal. Come on, give me something useful. Still not what I want. What do I want? I want vitality. There we go. That's what I wanted. Is there anything else I wanted to change? Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. I forgot weapons are different. Weapons and helms are different. Fuck me. So stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, I gotta look at the right thing for the right thing. Right thing. Alright, so we have thorns, crit damage, elites, straight damage, life per hit. Now, let's just go for raw damage. If only I had a sight with that. Don't really want to put that there now. Uh, what would be the level equivalent? 30, I guess. Ah, screw it. No, I can't do that. Let's go with damage versus elites. That'll make the weapon too overpowered, and then I'll never want to swap it out until I get another weapon with a gem in it, and then that'll just be bad planning overall. Alright, so... Portal. Alright, yeah, alright, that's that done. See, I don't want to end up going down that road of nothing but gem weapons, just for the red gem. Because that'll screw me in the long run. Would like some new good rings, though. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Checkpoint. Pedestal number one. And pedestal number two. The temple is open. Enter and defeat the guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death when you enter. We're going in. Look at this architecture. This predates the Sin War. I can teach you more about Sin. Please don't. Uh, let's kill these guys before we deal with conversations. Maybe I'll get the one that makes them explode. Because since I don't have corpse explosion anymore. Scholars Ramparts. Oh, shoulders. Alright, let's swap this for the one that makes him explode. Ah, damn it, don't have another one. Wonder if I should play the. 
remastered StarCraft for an only for the beginning episode. Because eventually I'll do a full playthrough, but I might do it only at the beginning when it comes out. And a headpiece, which looks bloody stupid. But... It's alright. Your strength rivals that of our greatest champions. What now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred... See, look how stupid that looks. And the noble hero fought away here just to die. You are again mistaken. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your faith, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood. You mean my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She has every reason to deceive us. Do not listen. This fight was too easy. She's toying with us. We must get back to the world. stone has been changed. Oops. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. All right, let's talk to people. Where are you from? Kingsport, a city by the sea, home to the great merchant fleets and endless nets of reeking fish. And your trade? I am between jobs at the moment. Dishonest jobs, I'd expect. Not since I am the most honest thief you will ever meet. Now let's talk to Leah. Uncle Deckard and I traveled all over the world in my youth, looking for lost lore and artifacts. It was so exciting, crawling around ancient temples, digging through forgotten crypts. I feel fortunate that Uncle Deckard raised me the way he did. Things I learned from him. But now I... I don't know. I see what his obsession with his quest has cost him. This cost us. The Drowned Temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. Mm, don't think that's how that worked. Oh, let's just I teleport back. back. Oh, I remember where the next piece is. Alright, I'm going to go here first. It's a good thing I get these back. Because I'd hate to have to lose them. The second piece is safe, but I do not know where the last one has fallen. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Why is this coven after your sword? I cannot say, but there is something about them, a darkness, that is known to me. Strange. The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. You'll need your sword for that. Oh. She finally got here. Oh, can't do nothing there. Let's go check Leah's room, just in case. When we retrieved the stranger's second sword piece, Magda found us. She's always on our heels. Who is she? She claims to know my mother, but... How could that be? Regardless, we must beat her to wear them in the final piece of the sword. Transmog. Do something that looks good. Although it cost me some money, it's easily gotten back. Uh, I think I should probably stop there. Oh, I can't do highest usable. 
I have the gems to make the lesser ones. Well, that one works. What about the other one? Ah, oh, they're pretty much the same. Well, let's just make a pair of rings then. Man, that's gonna really bump up my ability to kill stuff. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this hour-long episode. Um, we're about to hit a very big part of the Act 1, so I'll be record- I Let's see, we go there, across the lake, some shit happens, then, then we go through a cave with a spider, then a mansion, then a b underground dungeon, then a boss, and then after the boss, I think, is the end of Act 1. Depending on, I, I can, I should be able to do this with one more recording session, Act 1, then we'll be up to Act 2. If I remembered all that, all that's coming up next correctly, it's hard to recall completely. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Later. Did it stop? No, why doesn't it stop when I want it to?